It's World Refugee Day. Around the world, people are celebrating the enormous contribution of refugees, from the Jews that fled the Nazis during World War II to the numerous Syrians, Afghans, Eritreans, Hondurans, Rohingya, and numerous other nationalities fleeing violence and persecution in favor of safety and a better future today. Today, many of the messages have been positive, but in recent months, not everyone's been so kind. In Europe, populist politicians have been using right-wing media outlets to drum up fear about migrants, spreading stories about how lax immigration policies will lead to an Islamic state in Europe, or lead to burkinis being more popular than bikinis at the local public pool. Well, okay. Now in the US, Trump seems to be honoring Refugee Week by announcing unprecedented immigration rates. Many are cracking down on compassion as well. Earlier this month, the U.S. jury couldn't decide whether no more deaths activist Scott Warren was a humanitarian for handing out water to refugees in the Arizona desert or a criminal. German sea captain Pia Klemp is facing trial for rescuing refugees from shipwrecks in the Mediterranean. She joins at least 250 other humanitarian activists who have been fined, arrested, or prosecuted in recent months just for helping refugees. The number of displaced persons around the world is at an all-time high, but the people that are actually asking for asylum and refuge in a new country is dropping. So if that's the case, what is the point of all these hateful narratives? And how do we keep them from manipulating the media and misinforming the public?